So Jim, my final question for you is, we know that during COVID time, a lot of people lost their job and some of them are trying to go back, which we discussed in the previous video. But a lot of them, as you know, they were in the industry for hospitality or other industry for 10 or maybe 20 years, and now they've lost their job. And they want mm -hmm. to come in and they want to show their transferable skills, but a lot of jobs are being very specific. They want X amount of experience in this industry, but there are some similar jobs that can be transfer. So how can they show that transferable skills? Sure. There is a website, um, www.onetonline, O-N-E-T, online.org. That is actually a government website. Um, it is uh, sponsored by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, I believe it is. If you go to that website, in the upper right-hand corner is a search box. Yes. Type in your job title there, let's say administrative assistant, right? So you type your job title in the upper right-hand corner, hit the search button. What it will do is it will look for other jobs that are similar to the job title you put in. And it'll say, okay, you are an administrative assistant um, because of the skills you have. Uh, you may also be a good project manager. Mm -hmm. you know? um, if you are a I don't know, basketball coach, you may say you're good with people, you can manage people and you, you're looking for talent, you might be a good recruiter. You know. Um, so what it will do is it'll give you a list of different job titles that you may want to pursue based on your skill set. Um, and there's also other, other uh, functionalities on the, on the website as well. Uh, either you, you, one function is you can put in your job title get, get, and find a, a, a listing of different jobs that are similar to it. Another function on the site is that you can add in the skills that you have. You know, yeah. let's say that, for example, say you have no idea what kind of job you could do. Um, uh, you type in that you are detail oriented, that you can follow instructions or that you can do whatever. And then it'll say, based on these skills that you, that you entered into our database, these are different jobs you may want to consider. Okay. So onetonline.org is a great resource. It's a free resource paid for by uh, the taxpayer. So definitely take advantage of it. And do you agree to the idea that job seekers can reach out to uh recruiters or the hiring managers on LinkedIn to tell more about themselves? Um, I have a different strategy for that. I mentioned it's in the book as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at it from a recruiter perspective, they're going to get tons of resumes all the time. Yeah. Um, so they may say, thank you, but you never hear from them again. Mm -hmm. And then hiring managers, they're busy doing their job and they refer you to a recruiter yeah. and recruiters say, thanks for your resume. Uh, you may never hear from them again. <laughs> so, or apply online. Yeah, or apply online and you, and you don't hear anything else. So one thing that you can do to get around that, which I found to be effective, is to uh, do a bit of research. I, I don't think it's too far-fetched, but pretty much every company has a um, employee referral program. Yes. Yeah. So if you refer somebody to the company and they get hired, you get X amount of dollars. Yes. Pretty much every company does yes, that. They have. Yeah. So uh, if you see a job that you think you are really, really a match for, I mean, not just throwing resumes against the wall. I mean, you really feel you're a good match for and you want to yeah. get in there. Then look on LinkedIn maybe and find somebody who works in that company. Mm -hmm. Someone who maybe uh, can understand your background and can look at your resume themselves and see you're a good, compelling candidate. Then you say, hey, um, uh, you don't know me, but I found you on LinkedIn. Uh, your company is advertising for this particular yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Would you mind recommending me to the recruiter? If you do and I get hired, you get the employee referral bonus. Yeah, yeah. Yes. If I don't get hired, what have you lost? Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty compelling argument because yeah. uh, all it takes somebody is, you know, just hit a send button uh, on email, yeah. you know, and then you could also maybe write up um, an email to help that person and say, hey, uh, recruiter, check out John Doe's resume. Um, here are four or five points why I think they'll be good for the company mm -hmm. and send that to your recruiter. Yeah. And because the recruiter gets it from somebody inside the company already, it's a, it's a, it's a much better chance that they'll actually look at the resume and look at your resume that way. Yeah, those are great tips, Jim. I really appreciate that. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. The tips are very practical, and I hope all the audience watching or listening will implement those tips in their job search. And again, Jim, thank you very much for taking the time to ask you the questions. And for the audience, tune in next time for other great guests.
guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, thank you, Jim. Have a good day. Bye-bye, everyone. Good day. Thank you.